34 times 7, you may not have seen uh, multiplication set out like this before. You know, you might just see it all on one line, like this. But the whole idea is to make it a bit more logical and systematic and make sure I don't miss any parts of the question. Okay? So the reason they've set it out like this is to show I've got two different parts of 34 that I'm going to multiply one at a time. So I'll do 7 times 4, then I'll do 7 times 30. Okay? So 7 times 4, 7 times 4, oh, my 7 times tables. 7, 14, 21, 28 is the fourth one, right? So 28 is 7 times 4, that's what I put underneath. I've done the 7 by 4, now I'll do the 7 times 30. Now because it's 7 times 30 and not 7 times 3, which is just what looks like it's there, that 3 actually has a 0 hanging on with it, right? So a 0 comes up straight away, and now I can do 7 times 3. And I just did the 7, so 7, 14, 21, 2, 1. So I've done the two parts now. I'm going to add them up, which gives me 238. I did it in reverse order, but that's a bit naughty, but that's because I think I knew what the answer was. OK, now just before I answer any questions, this is the exact value that I'm looking for. So we'll be done. And it wasn't too difficult. But here's where this comes in and is really useful, right? 34 times 7 is one of those they're kind of messy numbers, right? So what I'm going to do is just to check that I know I'm in the right ballpark and I haven't done something crazy and wrong, I'm going to round both of these numbers and see what happens, right? So when I round these, 34, I'll round that to the nearest 10. What's the nearest 10 to 34? 30. Very good, Higgins. So 30 is the closest one. And then when I look at 7, well, I can round that to the nearest 10. I don't have to, but I might as well. The nearest 10 to this is... Well, it's just 10, isn't it, right? So 30 times 10, that's super easy. That's 300. Now, 300, as it happens, because of my rounding cube, it is a little bit off. But at least I know, like, I don't have the wrong number of zeros or something like that. I'm not half or double what I'm supposed to be. So I know I'm sort of in the right ballpark. Okay. And for each of the questions you do, when there's one that's really hard and you've taken a long time to go through and you're like, hmm, not sure how accurate I am, what I'd like you to do is try rounding, right? Round each of the numbers to an appropriate accuracy and then give it a shot. Because they're rounded, it's easy. And then you'll know if you're roughly right. Any questions on that? That's it. I'll do it a different way. I'll do 34 times 7. When I do 28, I you put you put the numbers yeah. up there like this. So you go eight and then two. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. And then you go seven times three. Um, yeah. So you've got twenty one plus two. the two, which is the twenty two. That's, that's absolutely right. fine. That's all okay. I think that's all right. You can see we ended up at the same answer. One of the reasons why I'm setting it out like this is that when the numbers start to get a bit big, right? You start to end up getting a lot of numbers flying around up here and it can be easy to confuse them, right? So this is one of those places where mathematicians are like, yeah, we have lots of different ways to do this. It kind of depends on how difficult the question is and how confident I am and how quick I can do it. So that's absolutely fine. And if you do it that way, thumbs up.